Hello dear friends, I'm Roland Gunter, homeopath in Royston on Vancouver Island and today we meet here again by the seashore. Um, I'm really happy that you watched this video. You know for me this little video is a way to talk about what's important or even sacred in my heart and in my life and so you help me with that. Thank you so much for watching it. About a year ago, in September 2023, I sent out a video, and some of you uh, might remember it, about the basking shark. And if you have not seen it, you can find it on my website, vancouverislandhomeopathy.com. Go to blog, and under the blog, September 23, you will, uh, you, you will find that. And I talked about the basking shark, this huge animal, 40, 45 feet long, 15 meters long, uh, up to 15 meters long, that was quite common here on Vancouver Island. And then in the 60s, 60s was simply destroyed, not even used anything, only killed and destroyed until they were gone. And it reads in publications today in fishery and so on, like after successful uh, government eradication program, the basking shark was gone. Okay, for a long time now, it's been gone. And uh, in this video, the last time, I talked about the story a little bit more. And I also talked to the basking shark and asked the basking shark to come back. Last night, there was a in the in the tv in the news there was uh, a clip about a basking shark being uh, observed being watched uh, that showed up a little bit further south of here near salt spring island i was so happy i had tears in my eyes for gratitude that this animal shows up is it the beginning that they are coming back or is it just a straggler we don't know, yeah? But something is that it, it's possible that also species come back. Now, it's not that easy in the basking shark because it's a huge animal, it's a slow growing animal, it has a low reproduction rate and there's not many left on the, uh, on the oceans uh, worldwide. So, but you know, when the bask, when we have the laws in place and when we also have an open heart and call the basking shark back, I think that says something because they hear it. The species, they hear it. There is a communication between us and the animals, between us and the plants, between us and grandmother earth. Now, besides the laws being in place that they are protected, which is, there's something else that's important. And I wanna come back to that after telling you a little story. A good friend of mine had, together with his wife, raised a pony to a, ho a little filly to a horse. And uh, when it was young, it was, I don't remember what was, there was some medical thing, either an injury or something, and my uh, dear friend had to hold the poor animal down while it was treated and it was very painful. The horse never forgave him, uh, forgave him for that. And whenever he showed up in the paddock or in the pasture, the horse harassed him and was, um, and, uh, it just was really not nice to him. One day he was in the uh, paddock and the horse again came, ears pointed backwards uh, in an aggressive way towards him and he stopped, stood still, and looked the horse in the eye. And in his mind, my friend went through all the history, what happened when the horse was young, how he held it, and how the, the horse was hurting. And he sent the, the message, I apologize for hurting you back then. And then something special happened. This horse uh, did not move for a little bit and then slowly came towards him and put his head on his shoulder. That never happened before. And since then, there's peace between the two. Why I'm telling you this story, how important an apology is, you know that. 
we all know that from our interactions with our spouses, with our kids, with the relatives, with friends, yeah, with other, uh, that when we hurt them, if we had the intention or not, that it just happened for some, we do hurt each other, that we can't get around uh, with that. But when we listen, when we receive the pain, and and when we when we give a sincere apology, things can shift. And what was um, what was uh, uh, like a separation even can create a sense of intimacy of closeness with each other. And this is what happened with this horse. And this also can happen between us and not just an individual animal, but the species. So when we apologize to the species that we hurt, and something like the basking shark, for really no good reason to eradicate an animal like that, that is ethically a transgression close to the degree of a genocide. And this has consequences also for us. It's not good for us, and of course not for the shark. Yeah. So when we apologize for something like this, we set things right, things become a connection yeah and um, yeah we, we we come close to each other and there's a chance that they come back that they feel welcome and they they hear that yes you can say it was back then what happened i didn't do this it was the dfo yeah department of fishery and ocean that's true and the dfo definitely should apologize to them no doubt but the DFO also is an organ of our society and our society, that's also you and me. So it's also our responsibility, even though for me it was before I immigrated to Canada, but it doesn't matter. It's my inheritance. Yeah. So I'm part of it and I have the right to take on responsibility for what happened in the past and to apologize and in that way be part of a new connection thank you so much and please think about that and thank you so much yeah, also for for helping with the basking shark some of you probably have uh, felt that sadness about what happened and sent also an apology to the basking shark and maybe this one basking shark was a messenger that they will come back let's hope so thank you for listening Take care. See you next time.